Hello. In this video, we will describe the Relto dashboard and various options available to configure it. Before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can view all the upcoming videos on different topics. The Relto dashboard is a page in the Relto user interface. Depending on the tenant and UI configuration, the dashboard can contain a variety of controls that display data in various graph formats. The Relto dashboard real estate is divided into four parts. The profile stats view, the workflow tasks notification, the activity log, and the last part where you can configure a variety of facets that give you an overview of the tenant data. Users can navigate to the dashboard screen either by clicking the dashboard menu item or by clicking on the Relto or the customer company logo located at the top left corner of the screen. Let us first discuss the profile stats facet. This displays the activity in the tenant for a specified period of time. We can select 24 hours, 7 days, 30 days or set a custom start and end date for the reporting period. This facet displays the graphs for events like new profile created, profile updates, profiles merged manually, profiles auto-merged or unmerged. Please note that the auto-merge count also includes the count of merge on the fly events. The activity log facet displays the last 25 activities in the tenant. This facet also provides navigation to view the next and the previous set of activities. Each activity provides hyperlinks that take you to a screen depending on the activity type. For example, a search page or a search page with match filters or to a profile page. The workflow inbox facet displays the workflow tasks that are assigned to a current user as well as to the team. The drop-down box filters the workflows assigned to the user or to the team. The last part of the dashboard is configurable and allows you to include facets depending on the business requirement. As of today, Relto does not support customization of dashboard by the customer. The customer is advised to discuss this with the account CSM or the TAM or a professional services team member and then create a support ticket to add the required facet. Now let's discuss the various types of facets that are added to this area. The first set is entities by role view, entities by tag view and entities by type view. Entities by role view and entities by type view facets are tree map charts that display the count of each metric. For example, in case of entities by type view, the map contains the number of profiles of each entity type that are present in the tenant. Entities by tag view is a word cloud chart that displays the tags of all profiles in the tenant. The next set is Facets Attribute Chart View and Facet Chart View. These two facets can display charts in vertical and horizontal bar chart, line, map and pie chart formats. The Facet Attribute Chart View displays the view of specific entity attribute values. For example, this can display the value of GPA in an educated nested attribute with school name and year of graduation as first and second dimension measures. The facet chart view is the same as the facet attribute chart view, the only difference being the specific facet values. For example, this can display the workflow tasks assigned to each user. The next set is filtered entities view, matches entities view, and filtered saved searches view facets. These three facets are pageable list views. Filtered entities view 
allows you to list the entity's search result. For example, we can list HCP profiles with a valid phone status. Matches Entities view displays the list of potential matches of all entity types in the tenant. The filtered Saved Searches view facet lists the saved searches and count of profiles that match the search criteria in a list format. Map view and Simple Map view facets display the metrics in the form of maps. The map view facet, for example, can display the number of locations in each state or province in the US. Simple map view allows more customization than simple view. The last set is bar chart view and bubble chart view facets. Bar chart view displays the bar chart depending on the attribute value count. For example, this bar chart can be configured to display the count of locations based on the verification status values. The bubble chart view displays the bubble graph. This graph is similar to the bar chart but the display is in the bubble format. The size of each bubble depends on the count of the measured criteria. For any questions related to dashboard customization and configuration, Please contact the CSM, the TAM, a professional services engineer or create a support ticket. Thank you.